Hi everybody, Broken Ebs here, how are we doing? Welcome to today's video. So today's video, as you know, I've been playing a lot of Star Wars The Old Republic, a bit of Jedi Academy, um, some Farm Simulator and some Euro Truck Simulator 2. My Euro Truck Simulator 2 on Linux Mint is back on 136 because it just runs fantastically. However, now I've changed the resolution from 1280 to 720 to the native resolution and upped it to 1920 1080. I'm keen to see if the latest version of American Truck Simulator, <coughs> excuse me, um, will run uh, acceptably. So I've brought American Truck Simulator down. I've set a profile up, set all the chaff up. So let's give it a whirl out and let's see what it records like. <clears throat> I'm pretty confident it should play beautifully, but with all the new game engine updates and optimizations, you'd think on Linux Mint uh, Cinnamon it would run beautifully. Well, this is the latest version 1.52. <clears throat> 153 open beta is available so um, in terms of mods I've got very few mods I have got driving academy here which I haven't even looked at yet so let's take a job a short job I have bought a truck and set it up and configured it and it's absolutely gorgeous you guys and girls have seen it all before but again, when SCS trucks are this good, why would you need a mod truck? Mm, you wouldn't. Now, I do have some of Slav Jerry's engines installed. I do have a custom paint job, and I do have custom paint jobs installed for the trailers, uh, should I want to buy them. That is it. Everything else is stock, so I've got no traffic mods. Uh, nothing. Uh, I can't hear the volume of the game. There we go. Turn it up in the headphones. So there's my truck. It's a Kenworth SCS Kenworth W900 in full cat livery day cab. Um, so let's go ahead and let's pick a freight market job. Again, I've got no um, trailer packs installed, so this is just purely SCS. Uh, and we want a shortage job, shortish job. There we go. I'll go to Ogden. Four hours. It's not that short. There we go. I'll go to Ely. I've got nothing shorter. Boise. Ogden. Ketchum. How fast Ketchum? So it looks like the shortest job I'm going to get is I'll go to Ely. Uh, I don't particularly like that trailer, but hey, look, it's not about the trailers, is it? So. Let's take the job and let's drive and let's see how we get on. Calculating route. Uh, now, as I say, I have got one of Slav Jerry's engines in, so I don't know how this is going to play and record, whether it's going to be acceptable, whether it's a load of tat. I've no idea. And you'll probably hear the keyboard clicks as well, which will do your head in. Uh, doesn't do my head in, because I'm used to it, but uh, you lot, you know, you will hear it. But that's the downside of having commentary, unfortunately. Uh, bit of rubber banding. I mean, it is on 1920 by 1080. Um, but I'm not going to make any judgment calls just yet. Uh, because we do now have access to all trucks, all DLC, and all map DLC, uh, which, when I'm on the older versions, I don't. Which pisses me off a bit, because uh, if SCS are going to make map DLCs and encourage you to buy them, they should make them back compatible. You know, for me saying, well, you've spent all this money on map DLCs, but it's not compatible with 1.37 you need to be running 1.x for it to work i'm sorry that's a piss tech 
not good enough. So sort it out, SCS. You know, I've bought the map and all the DLC stuff in good faith. You should make it your life's mission to make it compatible with any version of the game. That's your responsibility. That's the dog moving the mouse. Thank you, dog. Uh, so, uh, it'll be interesting to see what 152 runs like on this rig on the Linux Mint. I can tell you straight away it's nowhere near as smooth as 136 or 137 is, that's for sure. Uh, but it's lovely to have Slav Jerry's engines back and it's also lovely to have my beautiful PAG gearboxes back. Uh, they've all been updated to the latest version 152 so it is beautiful to have that back um, and as I say as I've bought most of the trailer packs and all the map DLCs I'm a bit pissed that I've got to run the latest version of the game for them to be compatible a little bit pissed about that uh, because I do love my 137 but you know a lot of the map DLCs are not compatible it doesn't have all the trucks that the latest version has it doesn't have all the cabin accessories that the latest version has you know and I just find that uh, fucking annoying and a bit of a piss take uh, that I've got to I'm forced if you like uh, to run the latest version of the game if I want to have all the stuff I've spent money on uh, available. Uh, I'm guessing there's not going to be a large selection of trailers here, so we'll go for the, the container carrier, uh, which is, as it was, Alcota Fort Worth. Wow. So, uh, let's go ahead and pick up said trailer. Um, I'll continue to try and tweak the game to get it smooth but it is in 1080p and we are on the Raiden RX 580 I do have an NVIDIA RTX I could upgrade it to um, but when the RX 580 is running so well for all of the games including Euro Truck back on 137 I don't really want to rip it out when there's nothing wrong with it uh, and put the uh, the RTX in to be honest uh, I'm quite happy and of course the AMD Raiden works so flawlessly with the Linux uh, much nicer, plays much nicer with the Linux than let's just say than what um, Nvidia does but hey ho it's what we've got So, mm, this is on the normal settings that I would uh, use for both American truck and Euro truck. And back on 137, it's as so smooth, it's beautiful. Uh, but here on the latest version of 152. It's not that smooth, is it? Just saying. Um, and this is what's stopping me playing the latest versions of the game. And um, before you all shout, Cache OS Linux, no, it's the same on Cache. I've got plenty of grunt in the CPU. Uh, but again, I don't know whether they've multi core optimized it now it used to be a single core optimization so even if you had 140 cores it still only used one for the heavy lifting uh, whether they've changed that now or not I don't know perhaps somebody can post underneath the video if you know the answer um, I mean, I love this game to bits, but 
a 6 core 12 thread CPU and an 8 gigabyte graphics card uh, should be enough to make the game comfortably playable and record a video just saying now as I say I don't know what this is recording like oh it was a run by fruit and deer uh, but we'll have a look but anyway I'd appreciate your 10 penneth worth um, I, I mean I love American truck I love Euro truck I just get a bit pissed off when I'm forced to run the latest version and the latest version uh, just doesn't run as well as 10 versions back now I know you can say well look what they've added blah 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 mm, it's all very well adding stuff how about optimising the initial stuff that you've got rather than you know rushing DLCs out why not optimise it so that you know it runs as good or as almost as good as 137 now I am on TAA uh, I don't know if I've got anti-aliasing on let's have a look uh, I think that's the only thing that I would change anti-aliasing is TAA and it's adaptive so I mean uh, you know I mean texture quality is high hand strip is 1% normal maps I've got all this uh, shadow quality I could drop that down to low screen space uh, I could disable mm. we'll try that uh, but you know I mean all I'm saying is it should run and look gorgeous well that's disabling in the screen space oc oculation and it's seriously reducing uh, shutter quality and that has made a huge difference on my screen whether it's made a huge difference on your screen uh, well that's another matter Uh, but I think we're about there, to be honest. If it's recording how I'm hoping it's recording, then the mirrors need adjusting, uh, then I'm going to be a happy boy, and we will be able to play, record, and live stream the latest version of the game. Now, <clears throat> whether further updates will overwrite my cfg dot cfg file uh, I don't know but I guess I could make it read only uh, but that's not bad mm, still a bit jerky isn't it on traffic that's going by that should be silky smooth it just ruins the whole driving experience that's all uh, if everything's jerky and stuttery it just ruins it I think it does anyway you know I want a nice smooth American truck experience uh, I don't want things jerking and stuttering around all over the shop See, whenever you turn a corner, you know, it jerks and stutters. I don't know what it's going to be like at speed. This is... These gearboxes are optimised for 50, 55 and 65, depending which box you put in. I'll put the 50 box in. So we should be able to sit at 50 mile an hour all day long. And we should be able to pull uh, virtually any weight. And, you know, I mean, look. 
it looks fairly smooth. I'm going to leave it to you guys and girls. Um, because it is getting better. It is puckering a bit. Uh, pucker, love. It's pucker. I'm going to leave it to you guys and girls whether you think the quality is acceptable for videos and live streams or not. Um, as I say, I don't want to stick the RTX in because, uh, you know, look, I'm really, really bloody happy with the uh, Raiden, to be honest. There we go. Now we can actually see something in the bloody mirror. Uh, what about right? Mm. That wants to come in a bit. I wonder if it's going to remember this or whether it's just going to default back to how I left the bloody thing. Uh, I guess we'll find out. But these PAG gearboxes are just amazing. I love them. I've used them so many times. And of course, as the game updates, the mod author does tend to update it. Um, and I find them an absolute must-have mod. They are freely available on the Steam Workshop. It's called P-A-A-G. If you search for P-A-A-G, you'll find the PAG gearboxes, and they are an absolute delight. If you fancy um, immersive driving... Um, because they will allow your truck to operate immersively uh, as opposed to ridiculous. Uh, now I've got a Cummings big camera engine in there. Uh, it's a very, very old one. Uh, we could put one of the new Cummings ISXs in there or I've got loads by Slav Jerry who I absolutely love for my American truck engine sounds. Over on Euro Truck, it's Creech Bump all day long. Over on American Truck, you struggle to beat Slav Jerry, and they're all 100% free, of course. All available again on the Steam Workshop, so no need to go hunting around. As I say, do me the honour of just letting me know in the comments if you think this is perfectly watchable and more to the point enjoyable mm. or whether you think I need to upgrade the rig a bit uh, I think if it carries on like this it's not bad I could live with it um. But it'd be interesting to get your guys and girls take on it. Uh, as I say, I love both these games. I really do. Um, but there are certain mods that you can't uh, unlearn. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's your pleasure and your immersive experience. So you use what you want. But from experience... With the latest version, I've found that the fewer mods you use, the better for the game, quite frankly. Uh, you know, I've done big map combos, slap trailer pack, you name it, we've had it in there. Um, but I think if I was going to stay with the latest version, which in my case is at the minute, at the time of making this video, is 1.52. Uh, then I'd definitely go with this mod build. And I think it's a total of about seven mods. Uh, there's the trailer pack. There's the skin for the truck. And there's about five engines. I didn't want to do 55. Uh, and then there's another couple of mods above that. I can't remember what they are now. Uh, but yeah, driving is very immersive and enjoyable. But what does it record like? Is it 
acceptable to you guys and girls. As I say, please do let me know if I can get as many people commenting on the quality as possible. I'd be very, very grateful. Now, as I say, SCSW900 uh, stock trailers, uh, but we do have the cat skins available for any trailers that we purchase. I do love the tilt and the way the game works compared to something like 137. It's a lot more immersive, definitely. Uh, and as I say, I love the game to bits, so I'm not going to blag it off. Because uh, over the years, it's given me so much gaming pleasure. Uh, just a bit uh, pissed off with SCS for forcing me to run the latest version of the game in order to have all the money's worth of extras I've spent on the game. Uh, again, let me have your thoughts and comments on that. Do you think SCS are right to force you to run the latest version of the game to have all those little niceties installed? Uh, not a lot of point paying good money out if you're not going to use them or have access to them. Just saying. Well, this feels very, very immersive. Uh, and I could play this all night. Just saying. So, there we go. Let me have your two cents worth. I think the truck looks fantastic. Uh, I think it looks gorgeous. I don't think there's any need whatsoever with a truck of this quality to go off and buy mod trucks. But hey, it's your dollar, your choice. You feel free to do whatever floats your boat. This is floating my boat. But as I say, the overriding thing is the quality. Do you think the quality is good enough to be making videos and live streaming. This is all being made and played on Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon, 100% Windows free. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thumb the videos up if you loved them, down if you hated it. I will see you for another wicked Broken Ebes video.